25-year-old Navy Lieutenant John Eager of Dallas, preparing for war. The uh, simulated strike for day is on a Kanucha fast patrol boat, and the threat axes, or the running axes, uh, commences at 40 miles uh, on a heading of about 180. According to the battle scenario, Lieutenant Eager will be flying his F-14 fighter against a heavily armed Russian patrol boat 40 miles away. He'll do that from this vessel, the Enterprise, the world's first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. She weighs 90,000 tons, is taller than a 25-story building, and has a four-acre flight deck. On board, 5,000 men, 85 planes. Carriers such as the Enterprise are becoming controversial naval weapons. Although carriers are still considered the backbone of the Navy's sea control, there is some question about their future need. For one thing, aircraft carriers are very vulnerable targets, and they cost a terrific amount of money to operate. How long this ship could survive a heavy enemy attack is debatable. The Enterprise's air power is awesome. Take Lieutenant John Eager's F-14. Built by Grumman, delivered to the Navy 18 months ago at a cost of 13 million each, it's the fastest, most versatile Navy fighter. The supersonic F-14 carries the brand new Phoenix missile system, an air-to-air -air missile that picks out and destroys its targets as it flies. And this missile allows us uh, approximately a 100 mile air-to-air uh, uh, -air launch range against a uh, adversary target. The F-14 is uh, capable of uh, deploying six of the Phoenix missiles at one time against six different targets. The F-14 can be manned and catapulted off this deck in less than three minutes. As far as fighters go, it's uh, way ahead of its time. And I think technically we're ahead of uh, anyone else in the world. And I think we could use more of them. Also aboard the Enterprise, the new A-7 Corsair built in Dallas by Vought Systems. The Navy calls it the most accurate light attack plane in the world. The S-3A, only six months old, was also partially built by Vought Systems. It's an anti-submarine aircraft capable of reading enemy sonar and communication signals. The Enterprise is one of 14 attack carriers, but two of them are being dropped from the fleet this year. Some members of Congress argue nine carriers would be sufficient. The Navy says it would be dangerous. In our next report, we'll be taking a closer look at some of the Navy's anti-aircraft and anti-submarine missile systems. We'll be talking with a Navy admiral about how those systems could be used against the Soviet naval threat in these waters. Bob Sarkin, Channel 8 News, aboard the USS Enterprise in the Pacific.